Hello. So I am going to talk about SIRS. SIRS stands for Chronic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. This is something that I believe a lot of us have experienced and we've been misdiagnosed, either calling it Lyme disease. It could be honestly misdiagnosed as so many different things. And my belief is that we have a lot of the same symptoms with different diagnoses. Chronic Lyme disease for me encompassed Epstein-Barr, it encompassed over 10 autoimmune diseases. All of it really wrapped together and it was deeply rooted in my central nervous system and to recover and reverse everything that I've been through. It really required systemic healing and this is a term that I use all the time. And so with SIRS, it's no different. I've worked with countless people I could count them, but a lot of people, handfuls, with SIRS and to recover from it. I myself recovered from it. Now, there are certain cases where you need more than just a change in nutrition. You need more, whether it be a medication, sometimes I use oregano oil, sometimes I use other things, and many times it's very successful. But there are some cases where you need more. In a couple of weeks, I will be having my spring retreat. If you're interested, we have four spots open. It's the beginning of April. This is really when it starts booking completely. So if you're interested, I'm gonna be there with Rachel from uh, Ribeye Rach on Instagram, Dr. Lisa Wiedemann, and Dr. Robert Kiltz. And then, of course, I will be there, Tyler will be there. It's gonna be an incredible time. After that, I'm going to be getting foot surgery. Before that, I'm also gonna be getting foot surgery. So I'm getting surgery on both of my feet for my bunions and it's very invasive, it's gonna take six weeks to heal. So in that time while I'm healing, I'm going to be taking a course, which is the Shoemaker Protocol, so that I can have a better understanding of dealing with SIRS and when someone needs to go the extra route beyond nutrition. I'm gonna learn a lot of new terms. I'm really good with intuition. I'm actually really good at making calls on which direction to go. I have been through a lot, and so my personal experience has taught me a lot but I still want to expand my education and I wanna learn more terminology when I have intuitions on things, I wanna be able to describe it to someone so that they're completely understanding even with more detail. So I'm super excited, I'm gonna be taking that course so that I can further understand and help people with SIRS. I will not be ordering labs, but I can recommend them, which is something that I already do. But I just wanted to share with you all that I will be expanding my education in this area because it is coming to the knowledge of many people that they are dealing with SIRS. So first of all, I want to say that you don't have, there's no like one, one way to do it. And I'm saying this based on experience. I've worked with many people who did not do a specific protocol. We all have bio-individual needs. There are a lot of people where nutrition is not enough. So I've repeated this about three times because I want you guys to understand that you are different than someone else. There is no one size fits all. So I will be expanding my understanding so that I can further help people dig in even deeper. And I just wanted to share that with you all. If you feel like you're dealing with SIRS, I think the Shoemaker Protocol is a really good way to go and you have to be certified in that area. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I want to be someone who knows beyond a shadow of a doubt which direction to go. I have a client, her name is Helen. She is dealing with SIRS. And so Helen has been very inspiring for me. I will be having her on my YouTube channel. Be on the lookout for that. We're both doing this course. She's already doing it. I'm super excited. So that's just a little update. If you feel like you're dealing with SIRS, there are a lot of questionnaires that you can do to see if you're, you are dealing with it based on your symptoms. I think it's a really good route to go. So the reason this is becoming popular right now, I think is because Michaela Peterson is dealing with it. She's finally getting to the root of what's really been going on. And I think that mold has a lot to do with when a lot of people hit a plateau and they're doing everything else right. But you can get SIRS from things other than mold. You can get it from a tick bite. You can get it from Lyme disease. I personally believe that it's all rooted in this systemic dysregulation and we need systemic healing. And so that's just a little update for you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Hey you guys, my spring retreat is coming up. It's May 11 through 16 at North Myrtle Beach. We're gonna have Dr. Robert Kiltz and Dr. Lisa Wiedemann. They are incredible, very knowledgeable, wonderful carnivores. And this is an intimate setting, no more than 25 people. We're gonna have question and answers. 
unlimited amounts of Billy Doe Meats, North Star Bison. I'm going to be making all of my recipes that will be going into my cookbook, including the exclusive ones. And it's just a great time to have a tribe to experience this animal-based carnivorous lifestyle without white knuckling. You're going to go home feeling motivated. You're going to go home knowing that you have other people, other friends who are like-minded. You're not alone in this. And that's my goal is for you to be able to go and live your life optimally in a sustainable way. And it's just unforgettable. And the fellowship, the eating, the relaxation, the recovery is huge. There are so many breakthroughs that happen during these retreats. There are so many conversations that you'll never forget that will impact you in a positive way for the rest of your life. If you're interested in my next retreat, please let me know by commenting down below or emailing me at rebecca at tailoredketo.health and I will send you the info.